and Kristen Sullivan, our planning manager, is here to present the case. So if approved, this use will be subject to various performance standards in addition to any conditions placed on the CUP. A natural gas liquids pipeline is considered to be an industrial use. The purpose of industrial use performance standards is to address elements of planning, design, operation, and maintenance to be applied to all industrial development in Adams County. Another purpose of industrial use performance standards is to protect the health, safety, and welfare of all Adams County residents and to provide for sound environmental practices. I'm sorry about that. Um, so these are um, some of the findings of fact that are applicable for conditional use permits. Is it permitted in the applicable zone district? Is it consistent with the standards and regulations? Does it comply with all applicable performance standards? Is it compatible with the surrounding area? Is it not detrimental to the media area, to the future development of the area, to the health, safety, welfare of inhabitants of the area, and does it not result in excessive traffic generation, noise, vibration, dust, glare, heat, smoke, fumes, gas, odors, or inappropriate hours of operation? Does it address all off-site impacts? Is there an absence of environmental constraints? Is it con does it result in a convenient and functional use of all parcels involved? Is there adequate service provision, including fire and police protection, to serve the needs of the conditional use permit? So we kind of walk through some of these criteria in the following slides. Um, would the pipeline be compatible with the surrounding area? Would the pipeline not be detrimental to me the immediate area, to the future development of the area, or to the health, safety, and welfare of the inhabitants of the area? The applicant's preferred alternative is detrimental to the future development of the area around DIA. The applicant's alternative alignments A and B are detrimental to the existing residential neighborhoods that they cross through, and they're detrimental to future development along the I-70 corridor. Would the pipeline be a convenient and functional use of all parcels involved? The preferred alternative alignment prevents the convenient and functional use of many parcels that Adams County and Commerce City have planned for mixed use and employment growth surrounding DIA. Alternative alignments A and B are proposed in areas that are expected to remain rural and agricultural, where adequate open areas exist to accommodate the proposed pipeline easements in some portions of the line. However, A and B would pre also prevent the convenient and functional use of parcels along the I-70 corridor that's also planned for mixed-use employment, and there are impacts to existing residential neighborhoods along the northern segments of these alignments. Would the pipeline address all off-site impacts? The Wattenberg lateral poses significant negative impacts to the Front Range Airport. These negative impacts have not been addressed by the applicant. Um, there's also um, some additional applicable criteria that it's found in the staff report um, that comes from Chapter 6, which is Area and Activities of State Interest Criteria, and those were required submittal items for this application, so they're also applicable criteria. The proposed project is not in general conformity with the applicable compre comprehensive plans. The proposed project unduly degrades the quality or quantity of recreational opportunities. The proposed project would create an undue financial burden on existing or future residents. The proposed project would have a significant negative visual effect in the area during construction. The proposed project would cause a nuisance, such as blowing dust during construction, which has not been mitigated to the satisfaction of the county. The proposed project has a significant adverse effect on the capability of local government to provide services or exceeds the capacity of service delivery systems, particularly regarding future investments in the county's roadway infrastructure. The proposed project significantly degrades the substantial sector of the local economy. Farming and wildlife habitat, habitat could be reduced along with viewing areas, particularly during construction. The proposed project would significantly degrade the environment. Uh, permits either have not been obtained or not submitted for air quality. Visual impacts may occur, and a drainage plan has not been approved. Therefore, there could be impacts to wildlife, et cetera. The benefits accruing to the county and its citizens from the proposed project do not outweigh the losses of any resources within the county or the losses of opportunities to, to develop such resources. The proposed project does not support the goals and objectives of the I-70 corridor economic assessment plan. The proposed project would negatively affect transportation in the area. A traffic study has not been submitted or completed, to our knowledge. Portions of alternative alignments A and B may meet the criteria for approval. However, the applicant proposed these alignments to, tra to traverse through several residential subdivisions. These impacts have not been adequately mitigated. Both impact Front Range Airport and these impacts have not been adequately addressed. 
staff finds that alternative alignment A differs from alternative alignment B in several respects. Alternative alignment A has a larger setback from Horse Creek. Um, alternative alignment A over the entire alignment of impacts fewer residents. And alternative alignment A is located further away from the town of Bennett's future growth area. This case was heard on July 11, 2013, by the Adams County Planning Commission, which recommended denial of all three of the applicants' alternative alignments, including the Wattenberg Lateral, in a unanimous decision, 7 to 0. Ample public testimony was presented at the hearing from, res from citizens, labor, and environmental public interest groups, and landowners. The vast majority of public comments were in opposition to the applicants' requests. Concerns that were raised at the Planning Commission include availability of water for dust mitigation, construction safety, visual impacts during construction, disrespect on the part of the applicant towards Adams County residents, the applicant's use of condemnation of land belonging to Adams County residents so as to build the pipeline where it pleases and not as a tool of last resort, reasonable requests of property owners had not been accommodated. Staff had originally recommended approval of a Alternative alignment A and denial of the Wattenberg lateral, that's the portion that goes through Front Range Airport, with various conditions to address additional concerns in the ultimate design. During the Planning Commission hearing, the applicant asserted, of the, asserted that alternative alignments A and B, which have been proposed by the applicant and presented to staff as viable options, were in fact not viable for a variety of reasons, including negative residential, environmental, and economic development impacts. The applicant stated the routes they had proposed for alternative alignment A and B are routed directly through residential subdivisions and in some cases directly beneath the homes of Adams County residents. The applicant further stated that the same routes parallel I-70 and are therefore not compatible with future land development along an important economic corridor that's planned for future mixed use employment and that CDOT does not permit lateral easements within the interstate highway right of way. Given that the applicant's prefer, preferred alternative alignment is not in conformity with the county's comprehensive plan and that the applicant's Wattenberg lateral would create negative impacts to the Front Range Airport, the applicant has submitted incomplete information and given statements from the applicant that alternative alignments A and B are not viable options, staff now finds that the three routes submitted for this application do not meet the criteria for approval. Therefore, staff concurs with the Planning Commission and recommends denial of all three of the applicants' alternative alignments, including the Wattenberg Lateral, based on 33 findings of fact.